Good morning, parents um, and students. Uh, I just wanted to reach out to you guys and talk about some etiquette for online learning. A couple things I just noticed over the first week of online Catawba. Um, the first thing I noticed is that um, I received some messages uh, about assignments from students and from parents on Saturday. Now this weekend I did respond, but from here on out, I will probably not be available to respond um, to those messages. If a message is sent on Saturday, I will not be able to get back to you until Monday. As on the weekends I'm working, I am doing events with my son. I'm also coaching, so I may not always be readily available. If it is an emergency, or I feel it's an emergency, or you feel it's an emergency, then we will address that. But um, please use the days Monday through Friday to reach out to me because that's going to be the quickest way to get a response. Otherwise, you'll hear from me on the following business day, which would be Monday. The other thing I notice is more so for students. A um, couple of online etiquette things I want to discuss. The first one is that I noticed a lot of students, not a lot, but a few, getting on to Google Classroom and doing assignments at midnight, two o'clock in the morning. And that's really very late for your kids to be online. It's very not, not very safe practices. Now, if that's your routine, that's fine. But I just want you to be aware that if your child sends me a comment at two o'clock in the morning, I will not be able to respond probably until then you know, school day starts. Um, I also noticed that some of our friends were going on to Google Classroom and not understanding the correct way to type and respond to questions and also posting things that shouldn't be posted. So I have a PDF I'm gonna share with you from another school, Greenway or Greenwith Primary School, and I thought it was perfect for what we're doing here. Um, so I kinda wanna go over a few things. This first message here um, about expectations talks about how students should respond. So if a student has a question or wants to message me on Google Classroom, if they put it on the stream page, I will receive it, comes to my email. Now, the correct way to ask a question would be just like in the classroom. Hi, Ms. McCall, um, put your question there and then thanks and put your name. Now, a lot of my students are doing this and they're so used to texting real quick, but this is not the correct way to speak when we are in online Catawba and online learning. Can someone please help me with the work we are meant to be doing? I'm actually receiving questions like this um, and having students say hello and that's not very polite and it's not very, uh, not using manners. So please remind your child to speak respectfully whether they're responding to a classmate or to the adult. Down below, you'll see a couple of other steps. It's got some examples, but students are only to be posting on the classroom stream if they have the genuine learning question. Posting pictures of your pets and um, pictures of your family is not okay unless it's part of our assignment. Okay, so I shouldn't just have random pictures of cats and dogs being posted. That is inappropriate. Okay, and that will lose points on Class Dojo, also lose points in your grade. Uh, students should be practicing using correct grammar. Uh, it's not an excuse for us to not use punctuation, not an excuse for us to use. Um, it, well, it, we should be using capital letters it's for our name. We should be using capital letters when we're saying I. Okay. If a question has been answered by someone, we don't need another person to answer the question again. So we shouldn't have five responses to one question. Um, if someone posts a question, the comment section should remain on topic. Google Classroom is not a chat room to just talk with friends and socialize. I haven't had a whole lot of that, so I'm very proud of the students for being uh, proper in that. Um, if your child has a question about a specific item, not just in general, they can actually add a private comment. So the way they do that is they actually go to Classwork, click the assignment, then click view assignment. And then down over here on the right, they'll see private comments. That comment will only come to me and we will have a private conversation separate. If they want a class comment, it will be here. Okay, which we've done that. The kids have been awesome with this. Uh, students may need to be patient when waiting for a response from a teacher. Yeah, it's not gonna come like that always because we are multitasking. Um, remember to make your questions as detailed as possible. Asking, I don't get it or I don't get this is a very hard way for me to respond to. I will only respond in the way of, please explain what you do not get. Um, so I don't get the task or saying I'm having trouble with the narrative writing task. And then asking the question really helps me to help them uh, get the correct answer, okay? Uh, check the stream to see if the question you're asked has already been asked by someone else and answered. So always have your child go back and read and see what's available there, okay? You don't need to post in the stream to say you have completed a task. If you've completed something, 
that has been set as an assignment, simply turn it in and this will tell us it has been completed. So again, click the assignment, click view assignment, then you'll click turn in. If you need to attach something, you will click add or create right here and it will actually let you link the assignment or link the document from your computer. This one's huge. Read all instructions as closely as possible. You can even get an adult, a sibling, or someone to read it to you. You may need to read it two or three times, and that's okay. Um, it's very different from getting instructions from your teacher face-to-face -face or in the classroom. I can't come right back to your child and sit right beside them and make sure it's clear. So please, students, reread. Parents, read it to them. That's perfectly fine, okay? Give them a chance to try it, and then we'll go from there. I will be sending this PDF to you guys as well on Google Classroom as well as a student's email and a parent's email. So please take the time to read it over and review it with your child so that we can have a safe and orderly um, online classroom experience this year. Thank you.